hey counselors and uh, art teachers and music and PE and those of you thinking about using Zoom as a platform to uh, hop on with other uh, teachers and guest speakers and record a session, uh, this is the video to help you. So here is Zoom and this is actually, I'm using a different recorder to do this. Uh, that way you can see all of the interactions. If I was to actually just record the Zoom session itself, you wouldn't see all of the icons and the participant tools and the annotation and sharing the screen. And so uh, with that said, what I wanna make sure that everybody knows how to do just very quickly is to record. Record a session by uh, getting all of your people, and I'm alone in the Zoom chat, I invited my team, but they're all busy helping people. So uh, we are going to simply hit record. And once I start recording, it is now recording to a local folder. And I want to show you where that local folder is. And see, this is something else that you couldn't necessarily do unless you were sharing screen, which you can do while you're recording. But I'm going to bring this over in front of my video. And if you go into documents, and zoom, it is going to have folders for each of your recordings. And you can see that this one actually just started. So I just started recording this, and that is where the file will be. So this is really cool. Uh, one of the things that I can't show you, which I'm really bummed about, is that when you record a Zoom session, it records based off of your view the host's view of the conversation. So I, I think it starts, depending on your preferences, with speaker view. And speaker view is like this. Whoever's speaking is the big speaker and then everybody else is really tiny across the top, right? You've probably seen that. I prefer gallery view, and that's what I was hoping to be able to show you if I had my team join in. But gallery view then takes all of you and just kind of puts you geometrically across whatever size screen you have. And it just makes for a better uh, production if you're recording so you can see everyone. That said, doesn't matter how you choose to do it because it's gonna record audio and video. So whoever's speaking will be featured, whether it's in gallery mode or speaker view. And this is a wonderful way. I've already heard of music teachers that are gonna get their students and band teachers that are gonna get their students to do a performance together. Uh, I've heard counselors talk about counselors talking to each other uh, about a book or about a topic and uh, it's just a really cool way to produce content that involves very little effort. So if you can hit record and stop, then you're good. I would not recommend using the screen record, or sorry, using the record function to create a screen recording. The rest of this video is going to be devoted to, okay, so now what? I've got this video on my device, how do I upload it to YouTube? As well as my preference for screen recording, which is Loom. Zoom is great if you want to have a virtual meeting and record it. Loom is the best if you want to record something other than a virtual meeting. Hope that makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop. I'll edit this so it's not three minutes and 58 seconds. Okay, so now I am done with my Zoom meeting. I've just had my conference and what do I wanna do now? So I wanna take uh, the video that I recorded from Zoom and I want to upload it to YouTube. So I have to open up the browser and I need to go to YouTube. And again, make sure that you are logged in with your, see I'm not, I'm logged into a different account, so I need to switch my account to my More Schools account. Make sure your name's there. And then I just want to simply go to Upload. So if I go to Upload Video, then at this point, I just go ahead and find that file. And remember, it's going to be in the documents section of your computer, uh, depending on where you set it up. This is by default, it creates a Zoom folder in your documents and then go in there. And then right here, I believe, 
Let's see. I think that's it. So yeah, I'm going to go with yes, that is it. And then it will process the video and we're just going to speed this up. All right, and now it is processed. So go ahead and pick your thumbnail. Oh, definitely not a good picture. Uh, de okay, yeah, we're gonna go with the default middle one. You can also upload a thumbnail if you want to. You can click there and create a thumbnail or whatever you want, and then there you go. So uh, I'll just go with the default one. Now, I mentioned this earlier in the other videos, but yes, you must say that this is made for kids because it is. Doesn't mean anything bad. Uh, just go ahead and hit next and go through the next steps and then publish. Now, I'm not going to, uh, but what you will need to do once you publish this is give that to your webmaster. And that is it. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. Okay, so that video was all about Zoom, recording that Zoom meeting, and then even sharing that out with the rest of your counselor friends that have joined you. And uh, a really cool thing is that if you get five of you together, then guess what? That 10 minute video that you just recorded, that Zoom session that you just talked through, that this idea or whatever, uh, then becomes the video for all of you. So just something to think about. Uh, just make sure that whenever the host starts and records that, that they're the one to take it and upload it to YouTube and send you that link. Uh, now, what if I'm just by myself and I've got my computer and maybe I've got a PowerPoint or a YouTube video that I wanna talk through? Well, Loom is your answer, L-O-O-M. And we're gonna go there. So open up Chrome and go straight to loom.com. And I am already logged in, so you're gonna see all the videos that I've created and sent out already using the screencasting software. It's web-based, so you don't need any fancy this or that, just as long as you have Chrome, you're solid. When you create an account, make sure that you use your atmoreschools.com account, and it will prompt you after you set everything up to add the Loom extension. And that's this little guy right here. Uh, we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you how this works here in just a second, but it actually allows you to record your screen or your Chrome tabs, uh, and it doesn't need any other software. So speaking of which, let's go to Office 365, and I'm gonna go open up a PowerPoint, and I'm going to talk through that PowerPoint using Loom. I'm gonna show you how that looks like. Uh, so here's a PowerPoint right here, and it's I didn't use the full PowerPoint program, I'm opening it in PowerPoint online. And that's an advantage here because now all I have to do is hit this little Loom extension and it comes up and it gives you all these screens and whoa, that is way too big. So I wanna make that, yeah, that's good. That's a medium sized photo. There we go, that's a small size. And remember that uh, if I chose screen plus camera, it would actually be a live video. And we want you to be live on these. We want your littles to be able to see your face and hear your voice. And so do choose that screen plus camera. And then all I have to do is make sure that it's hearing me, and it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit start recording. It's going to ask me which screen I want. Uh, and I just want that one right there and I hit share, and it's gonna give me a countdown. So here is my PowerPoint, and I'm going to talk through it, and I can just use my arrow key, and let me make sure, yeah, I can just use my arrow key up and down, there we go, and I can talk through it. If I wanted to get really fancy, I could actually go to full presentation mode, and I believe, yep, it does, it takes the video away, but you can still hear the audio and then I can go through all of this and talk through whatever concept it is that I wanted to go through. And that's it. Here's, here's a PowerPoint that you have now added video and audio and you've been able to narrate it and super easy just using the Chrome browser. So many of you have expressed that, hey, I've got YouTube videos that I wanna do this with. And it sounds okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate it right now. Uh, this is actually using Loom. Let's see how this sounds. So there we go. We know this one's good and approved. And today I am going to show you how to get into student email. 
Uh, we've had a lot of parents emailing, even students. Okay, so that is the speaker of the computer coming back and hitting the audio from my webcam, or if you have a secondary mic. Uh, I don't think it sounds too bad. Now notice that I just moved this around and I'm kind of hiding some of these suggested videos. And again, this would be you talking through the video. So you just hit play. Student saying, I can't get into my email, there's an error. Oh, there's so much branding going on right now, I don't like it. Uh, but uh, hopefully this makes sense to you. You can be here talking to your students, doing your hand motions, and then you'll be down there in the little circle. So pretty cool stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the loom by simply hit stop sharing and then the cool thing about this is, and I'm getting a call, so I'm gonna pause. Okay, sorry, just got a call, and now I'm kinda of lost where I am, but I think we just finished the loom. Now the cool thing about the loom is that all I have to do now is hit copy link, and I can send that to my uh, webmaster. Another really cool thing about the uh, uh, loom is how you can share it. Uh, you can embed it and you can do a linked GIF, which if you've ever seen any of those like things that move, um, it, it, that's a GIF, the, the pages, the, the, the pictures that move. So anyway, you could send either one of these, the linked GIF or the embed code uh, or, a, or the link to your webmaster. They'll know what to do. They'll make it look great. And I hope this helps. If you have any questions, just email edtech at moreschools.com, and uh, I will talk to you guys later, I'm sure.